petition God with full assurance. Hebrews 4 and verse 16. Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. One of the consequences or the outcomes of knowing that we are the righteousness of God in Christ is that we can come boldly before God's throne and we come not only boldly before His throne, but we come knowing that we will obtain mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. That means we come knowing that we will receive. We make petition with the assurance, with the full confidence that we will receive because we are in right standing before God. There is nothing hindering our prayer before His throne. And the Bible says that we can come boldly to obtain, to receive, to find the grace that we need, to receive God's intervention in our lives, to receive answers to our prayer, to receive God's help in our time of need. So that we, when we come to the throne, we don't come with the, this idea or with this thought that maybe God will help me, maybe God will be pleased with me and answer me, or maybe God may just be displeased and may not grant my petition. No, we understand that we are the righteousness of God. We have this gift of righteousness given to us freely by His grace. There is no condemnation, so we come boldly without any sense of guilt or shame, and uh, we come uh, with confidence and we come knowing that we will receive. Our Heavenly Father will give to us what we petition Him for, what he, we ask Him for. And it is with that confidence that we can pray for the throne. So knowing our identity as people who have been made righteous in the eyes of God is so important and it impacts our life of prayer. It impacts our ability to receive from God. Because you are the righteousness of God, the next time you pray, go boldly knowing that you will obtain and you will find grace to help you in your time of need. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for making us the righteousness of God so that we can come to you boldly in our time of prayer. We can come with confidence knowing that we will obtain mercy and we will find grace. We will receive answer that to every petition we make. Thank you for this privilege. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.